Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball repair video for you today. We have been working on our buddy Mike's Bride of Pinbot pinball machine. And we uh, have done a couple videos on it so far. But we are up to our next uh, part of what we need to do to it. So basically we're going to do a bunch of cosmetic stuff to it. I am not the best in the world at the cosmetic stuff. But we're going to see what we can do. So th basically this is a great game. It's in decent shape, but it's had some touch-up done on some of the artwork. Uh, it has an overlay, for instance, like this has all been replaced. And then it's got clear coat over it, but when they clear coat it, they brushed it on. So it's got little, you can see brush strokes and stuff in it. So what we need to do is touch up the touch-ups <laughs> to make them look better. Redo some of that. Uh, sand down the clear coat a little bit that they put on there. Try to put more clear coat on top of it so it's more more even. Um, there's a pretty bad gouge here in the shooter lane that we're going to try to work on. And just all in all try to get it in nicer cosmetic condition. So that's what we're looking at. One of the big issues is, though, we've got stuff all over the play field. We've got to take all this stuff off or we're not going to be able to get down to where we can touch any of it up. You know, there's touch-ups over here that have been done, too. And there's just stuff here and there that needs to be worked on. So we're going to see what we can do to get it in a little better shape and to get that clear coat a little uh, more flat. And then eventually we're going to put a LED. I was going to say kit, but it's not really a kit. We're going to put LEDs in it, LED it out. Now, I usually don't do LEDs, but this would be a good LED game, wouldn't it? So the customer uh, wants us to do that. We're going to make that happen for him. Um, but in this video, we're going to mess with the play field. We're probably going to have to do several videos on the play field because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking stuff off. Now, usually you wouldn't do that with the game up and running, but we usually do it like that just so it looks better in the video. You can see all the pretty lights blinking. Some of them don't work and stuff, but we're going to fix all that whenever we put the LEDs in. So, uh, yeah, we need to get it down to the bare wood, basically, or close to it in certain areas. I'm not going to take everything off, but we're going to take a lot off just to open it up where we can get to everything. Uh, and then we're going to clean it, and then we're going to sand the clear coat a little bit, put more clear coat on it, and touch up all of the areas that need a little paint. So, like I said, it's probably going to take a while. Then we'll slowly build it back up with nice clean parts and LEDs and get it looking nice. So uh, I'll set it up on a tripod and you can watch us take some of the stuff off.
You was wondering what I was doing with all that stuff, wasn't you? So this is what we're starting with. The poor bride. She's been abused. We gotta make her feel like a woman again, she says. All right, let's see. Um, so I, I took all the ball guides and everything off because we're gonna have to clear coat a lot of it with spray paint. By the way, this is not a top-end restoration, people. If you're looking for a top-end restoration, I don't think anybody films those. Um, but there are people who can do a much better job than I can. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it uh, my best shot to save this thing. Um, so what's going on is the thing was heavily worn. It looks like in certain spots. So parts of it haven't been repaired. Like this, for instance. You know, that's kind of how that was left. And so you probably had a lot of that going on here. And so it's been repainted. And then they cleared it, but when they cleared it, they used a paintbrush. So you can see the streaks in it. And... Uh, the lines, the black lines have ran a little bit. The reason that usually happens is because that might have been a Sharpie. If you use a Sharpie pen, the, the uh, clear coat inter interacts with that and makes it get all smeary looking. So that might have happened there. And over here, it looks like it might have been pretty heavily worn because it's pretty rough feeling. And so then they put some decals on it to put the, the uh, text back on with the decal kit before they cleared over it. So, you know, it's got some, it's got some issues. So, we've got a little bit of wear here on the black. Wear here, wear here. A little bit there, but there's mylar there, and that's under mylar, so I don't know how that happened. Right there, too. A little bit of black, black, black. The shooter lane is pretty worn. But this thing has that weird shooter lane where it goes up a ramp and then falls down. So, you know, a lot of that just needs to be cleaned. All this is worn. Needs to be touched up with some black. Um, obviously the black here. The lines need to be made better. Areas like this that have been repainted need to be repainted um, again to get it where the lines are right and get it looking cleaner. It looks like they didn't get it all the way clean whenever they uh, cleared it, so some of it's not gonna be, we're not gonna be able to get clean. So like, like this area, it hurt me. This area, that's just gonna kinda stay like that. Um, we'll clean it up the best we can, but some of that's gonna be under the uh, clear coat. But we'll see what we can do. Um, and then the, the space shuttle there, it's a little bit off. We'll see if we can make that look a little better. The area here, same thing, the lines are just a little, they're not quite how they ought to be. Got some pretty heavy wear there. <laughs> a lot of stuff, people. There's a lot of stuff. Okay, so we're going to see what we can do. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up some more. It's just, it's still really dirty. So I'm going to uh, um, take some 409 and paper towels and clean the heck out of it. You can clean it with wax and stuff, but whenever you get this much dirt and wear and stuff, you got to use something a little heavier. So I'm going to clean it up as good as I can. And then we'll look at uh, what that gets off. And then I'm going to hit it with a magic eraser and just see if how much of this is dirt on top of the clear coat and how much of it is under the clear coat. Uh, then the after that we'll be uh, we'll see if we can lightly sand some of the clear coat to make it a little more flat, get rid of some of those ridges. And then we'll touch up some stuff, and then we'll clear coat again. So it's going to be pretty extensive 
But the first thing we'll do here is, uh, I'll, let me wipe it down a little bit. Oh, we also have the shooter lane. The shooter lane has a pretty bad gouge right there, right where the the uh, the uh, rails come up out of it. It's pretty rough. So we'll see if we can get that better, too. All of this is real dirty looking, too. That doesn't help. Um so yeah, that's what we're working with. Okay, so I'll uh, I'll uh, let me uh, let me clean it up a little bit, and we'll see what kind of condition it's in after that, and go from there. Okay, folks, this is out after wiping it down a little bit, but we haven't used any magic eraser or anything on it yet. Just got rid of some of the surface uh, dirt and stuff. You can see whenever I was cleaning it too, some of the touch-up paint just started coming off because the clear wasn't on it. Um, since whenever you brush it on, a lot of times it doesn't get in every little spot, you know? And then also, uh, I think whenever they did it, it had those guardrails on it, the, the ball rails. So I took those off so that we can get, you know, instead of clearing just this area, it'll clear the whole area. And then you put the rails back down and make it look a little, a little better. So... Luckily, we've got a good uh, kind of way to color match. If you look at the left side of all of those, you've got the actual colors there. So we'll be able to mix that, and we can tell what color it should be. You can see a lot of this has been repainted. It's one of those things, people, where people have a, a machine that's worn, and they want it to look better, so they, they you know... They try to get it to look a little better, and it did look a little better probably than just worn uh, down to the wood, you know. So it's no big deal. I mean, it's pretty severe, but I think we can we can get it. I ain't scared. I ain't never scared. So we'll see. Um, okay, so the next thing that we need to do is oh, another thing too. Just because you're probably freaking out right now. There's only a few colors here. It looks much more complicated than it is. You've got a red, an orange, two shades of yellow because one of them used to be white, uh, and two shades of blue. And that's most of it. So I just said a red and an orange, which is kind of similar shades, you know. Two shades of yellow because one of them used to be white, and two shades of blue. And that's a lot of it. So red and orange and then yellow, and then a lighter yellow, which is actually white. See, this area here was all white at one point. Red and orange, yellow and a lighter yellow, blue and a lighter blue. It looks real bad, but it's just a few colors, really. So let's look it down here. There's our red and our orange, our yellow and our white. Now the white, there may be actually a two colors of white. Yeah, there's, there's three yellows. So there's like a cream, a white, and a yellow. White, yellow, red, orange, two shades of blue. Everything you see is that. And then, you, of course, you have black. So it looks, you know, it looks crazy. It looks like, oh, good Lord, you'll never get that going. No, we'll get it going. It's not going to look perfect but it will be a dramatic improvement. Look, the bride agrees with me. She can tell. She knows it's going to be awesome. <laughs> We're going to get it. We're going to get it. All right, so I'm going to get some magic eraser. If you don't know about magic eraser, it magically erases stuff. And uh, we're going to go crazy on it. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to go crazy on it. Magic Eraser is basically sandpaper itself. It's just really fine sandpaper. So if you rub anything with a Magic Eraser long enough, you will rub right through it. Except, except maybe steel or something. But <laughs> uh, paint, it will rub right through paint. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to hit every area that's got some stuff going on and see if we can get it cleaner. If you could, if if that wasn't under the clear, we could get that a lot cleaner, I think. And so I may be able to carefully cut through the clear since it's probably not all that thick, and see if I can clean it up a little bit. 
on the, the this main middle piece is a decal, so I don't want to go too crazy on that. It looks nice and clean anyways. We're going to clear over it like they already have once. Um, so I don't want to go too crazy on that because you don't want to mess that all up. But the actual clear and the paint on the play field, if you lightly go after it over and over and over again, you will slowly lower down through the layers of paint back to a clean spot. So we'll see what we can do. So I'll start at the top and work this way and see what I can clean up as I go. Now when I do these areas that have been touched up, it's probably going to take a bunch of that off. Um, but that would be fine. So we'll, uh, we'll start Okay, folks, I went crazy on it with the magic eraser. You can see that it kind of just really screwed up all that area where they had touched it up before, but I'm, I imagine that's how it looked before they touched it up. <laughs> so we're back to where we were, kind of. Uh, and the reason that happened is because the clear coat uh, wasn't on very thick or wasn't on parts of it, so it just came right off. Now this one, not so much. They must have clear coated the heck out of that one. And uh, the paint down here didn't come back off and the paint here didn't come back off. So we're kind of at a point where this is as clean as I can get it. So the uh, Magic Eraser took a lot of the, the uh, clear coat scratches out of it. So I think what I want to do, it's about time to go home for the evening. I think I'm going to clear the bottom part because we're probably going to end up having to put multiple coats on it to cover up all those uh, paint brush strokes. Again, people, this is not an ideal situation, okay? This is not the best way to do this. This is the best way, in my opinion, economically, to do this This one. Yours is probably different. Um, but that's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and clear from here down. Um, we can then do touch-ups on top of the clear, fix the thing up, clear it again, but I think it's going to need a couple levels to get it more situated. Uh, up here, I'm not quite ready for clear yet, but wow, it needs a lot of work. So you can, if you've, if you've decided that this is what you're going to paint on and it's as clean as you can get it, you can go ahead and clear it and then touch up on it. You might touch up just the black on it and then clear it again. 
and then you might touch up just the red on the next layer. Oh man, I've just messed up the red. Well now I can rub the red off and it won't take the black off because I cleared it. So the people that are really into it really know what they're doing. It's common for them to, they might put seven coats of clear on it while they're working on it because they do different layers of it. Uh, but they do it more with an airbrush. We're going to be just painting it on by hand, um, similar to what they did. Um, so, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you have to balance out your time, your money, your skill level, and just do the best you can. And also what you're starting with. This one, it's, you know, with this kind of wear, they wouldn't have made this like the, uh, uh, if someone was spending a ton of money to, to uh, uh, put it in their collection, they probably would have started with one that was still in better shape, and then it would need minimal touch-up. So we're starting with one that's a little worn, but we're going to get it where it's in pretty nice shape. It won't look uh, as nice as the, the high-end, super top-of-the-line one, but it'll be nice and presentable. And most people, when they walk up to it, won't be able to tell that we even did anything to it. Um, so how do we do clear coat? Well, the way I do it, again, there's a million ways to do all this. The way I do it is I get most of the stuff off the play field, and then I just spray paint it with clear coat spray paint. Um, I don't usually show people how to do it or, or advertise it or anything like that because if you do this to your play field and there's still wax on the play field, it's not going to stick. So you have to make sure the play field's completely clean, there's no wax or oil on it. Uh, if you do it while there's stuff still in the play field, you get it all over everything. We're going to get it on the switch blades and stuff. You can tape all that off, but it just... It depends on how deep you're going into it. Are you trying to get it perfect? If you are, then you're doing it as a hobby. Take your time, take everything apart, get it perfect. But if you're doing it where people are paying you to do it, you know, I can't go crazy and, and uh, take every little thing off of the play field. We've already pretty extensively taken everything off the play field, but, you know, this switchblade is going to get a little paint on it. It'll be all right. A little clear coat. It'll be all right. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we're about ready to do that. Um, I tried cleaning up more around the areas that are dirty, but the clear coat is on the parts. I got it as good as I could, um, but that's just how it's going to stay. But once it's repopulated, everything will look pretty good, and you won't see the brush strokes, hopefully. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, and the flipper bats. They'll get a little bit of clear coat on them, too, but, you know, that can be cleaned off because it's plastic. No big deal. We don't want it getting on the face. So I'll throw something over that before we do it. But we're, I'm literally, tss, 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 no big deal. We're, we don't have a spray gun. We're not going crazy with it. Look at the Simpsons over there looking at us. All right, so let me throw some clear on it. We'll see how that looks. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll get into the paint on the, uh, the touch-up part. Okay, first coat of clear is on it. You see all the little ripples and you can still see the brush strokes and stuff, but hopefully with extra coats and maybe a little sanding in between, some of that will go away. The secret to it, in my opinion, don't put gloss on it. Use satin. Satin matches better. You would think satin, I oh, know, I want it to be glossy. I want it to be real shiny. It'll be real shiny once you wax it, but just put... Put um, put satin on it. It makes a, like it dries at a more consistent sheen, in my opinion. Right now it's still wet, so that's why it looks so glossy. Also, I got a small hair in it. So if you do something like that, just let it dry and then take it out. <laughs> if I try to take it out now, big mess, and we already got a big mess. We're trying to fix a big mess, so we don't want to go any farther. But, uh, yeah, so we're getting there. We're taking drastic measures here, people. Big steps. Big steps trying to make it better. All right. Okay, folks, so it dried and smoothed it out pretty good. But we're going to put more coats on it. I went, I did the whole thing. I said, screw it. Let's do it. Okay, uh, now we're going to work on the shooter lane. So there is a chip that just happens to have broke right where the ramp comes up out of it. So there are two little posts that go through there and then the rails go up. This is really common. Basically these shooter lanes get so dirty and then you can't get the dirt out because it's it's basically in the end of the plywood. So since it's in the grain you can't really clean it. 
So we're going to sand it a little bit. So we're going to hit it with a little bit of sandpaper, see if we can clean it up, and then try to sand that flat, or smooth. It won't really be flat because it's kind of like a concave. So the ball can launch up through there. And uh, we're going to try to get that f uh, more flat, and if it needs some wood filler, we'll put a little bit of filler in it, and then we might repaint it too, um, just to... Uh, make it match and look kind of good. Sometimes if you sand it well enough you can just clear it without having to paint it. So we'll see how it comes out. Let me uh, let me get some sandpaper and work on it a little bit and see if we can clean it up a little bit. Alright, so this is after getting on it with the sandpaper, it's very dusty, but it cleans it right up. Alright. Looks much better already. So let me clean it up a little bit and then we'll see if we need to do any more or if it uh, can take some clear. Alright folks, to clean the sand dust off of it a little bit. Got it about as clean as I can get it. Clean this up a little bit too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put some clear on it. I also cleaned in there as best I could but the, the bars lay down in there. It covers it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put clear on it because we might end up painting some of this. and. Um, before we do, uh, uh, I want to put clear on it so that it's it'll just stay like it is. So that you, uh, uh, if I paint something that I don't like, I can wipe it off with the clear. If you're painting on bare wood, you can't really wipe it all the way off. So uh, we'll throw a little clear on it and see what it looks like after that. All right, so that's how it looks so far. Much more even. The clear coat darkened it up a little bit. I wish it didn't have the the darkened areas, but it, it just does that. There's not too much you can do to get rid of that unless you just keep sanding and sanding and sanding. Uh, so we're going to try to fix that up a little bit. I'm just going to get some paint and try to match that a little bit just to blend that in a little bit more so you can't quite see it as well. Another thing you can do is you can paint the whole area. So you could paint everything that is hollowed out all the way up to here one color. Like a, you could even paint it like a contrasting color to match the artwork on the playfield. So you could paint it like gray to match the gray over here. Or you could paint just part of it and then leave one of the plies where you can see it. So you can get kind of artistic with it if you want to. But since it's just such a minor thing, I'm going to try to just touch that up with some brown a little bit just to lighten it or darken it actually so that it matches kind of what's around it. Right now it kind of looks like yellow, it almost looks like glue or something. But it's nice and smooth. So the ball will roll over it well. We just want to make sure that it, uh, it looks good. Alright, so the way we're going to do the paint, I've got a whole bunch of acrylic paint. Just all kinds of different colors. We're going to get one that's kind of close. And just put just a little bit on it and go kind of thin so that the grain kind of shows through it. It, like I said, you could do the whole thing, but we're, I'm literally just going to paint just that one little area and see if I can get it to kind of match. Um, so we'll see if we can make that blend in just a little bit better. Some people try to get cutesy with it and paint the grain back on and everything, but if you paint it on thin, the grain that's under it just shows through. It works fine. Um, so let me see if I've got anything that even comes close to that. And I'll throw it on it. You use acrylic. Now that we've clear coated it, you, if you put acrylic on it, uh, it's water based. So you can just wipe it right off if you uh, mess it up or it looks bad. Um, so let me, uh, let me see what I've got. We'll make a something that's close and see if we can just make it blend in just a little bit. We probably won't be able to get rid of it completely, but we'll make it where you don't notice it very much. All right, so we got camel, kind of looks like that. This is antique gold. This matches a lot of stuff. Honey brown. And burnt sienna. So you can just kind of grab whatever kind of looks similar. Smooth it out a little bit. I think it blends in pretty good. I don't think most people would even notice it. You got to remember too, the rails come up right there. So I think that looks a heck of a lot better. It's still a little dark, but you know, what can you do? 
I think it, I think it looks a lot nicer than it did. Um, trying to think if I can do it any. I kind of see like some lines there that are a little interrupted by it. Maybe I could put a little darker on that part. Let me mess with it a little bit more. Okay, so I just added a little bit more of the darker on the edges, kind of to draw the little bit of the, kind of just blend it a little more. I think that looks pretty good. Certainly better than it was. Okay, so we'll let it dry a little bit, and then we're going to hit it with another bit of clear over it, and that'll lock it in. Okay, folks, so now we are working on this bad part up here around the ramps. So uh, what I've done is I've went in and re-inked some of the lines. Now, again, like we mentioned before, this looks a lot worse than it is because there's only six or seven colors. So I've went in and re-inked some of the lines. So before it was done, it was a little sloppy. It, the, whenever he put the ink on, he used a regular pen, and then whenever he cleared it or painted the clear on or whatever, it started bleeding. So it's very sloppy looking because of the lines bleeding. So after I cleaned it, you know, we got an even bigger mess. So now we're going back and trying to fix it. So I have taken an acrylic paint pen and re-inked the lines back in, almost like a coloring book. <laughs> okay, so I added those back in. And then I started over here. There's a weird thing going on with this. So this line looks original, but then when it gets over here, it doesn't follow the same. It goes up, and then I'm going to look at the art and see if that's wrong. And I think maybe it was supposed to be down here or something. I don't know. So we'll see if it's messed up. Also, this insert here looks all screwed up, but it's because of the way they installed the inserts. So this black line doesn't go down like this that's a red insert the black line actually goes up and stays kind of flush with this if you look you can see it this part of the insert should be painted blue and if you look at this one it's done the same way if you let the light hit it you can see it so there's a plastic there's an insert right along through there let me let the light hit it yeah there we go so you can see that the insert what a mess. Basically the insert isn't that shape. It goes down here and then this paint is silk screened on it and then it comes up here and this paint is silk screened on it. So it's sitting in there more straight but they have silk screened art on it crooked. So the lines we have silk we have drawn the lines back in on it crooked. So it's a big mess but it's getting better. So I got I to gotta go look at the art and see if this is even close to how it's supposed to be. I don't know. That, that looks to me like, if I'm going to guess, that goes across there. There's probably another one that goes across here, and then there was something in the middle. Um, so I'm going to go look at a picture of another play field that doesn't have that wear there and see if that's correct or if I need to redraw that whole area. All right, folks, this is a nice, clean example on Internet Pinball Database. Belongs to Mark Steinman. Wherever you're out, out there, Mark, we're going to use a picture of your pinball machine to fix our pinball machine. So this is, of course, populated. And you see that they did some interesting stuff with the plastics where they kind of line up depending on the angle that you're looking at it. The art lines up. But most of the time, that's not going to be perfect, you know. And you can also see that a lot of stuff covers this area, so it doesn't have to be exact. But if you look, the one over here on the right, we've got, it's still on there, so it hasn't changed. So it's still, we know it's in the right place. But there is a line, basically the line goes from over here to over here, all in one arc. Okay? And in the middle, it kind of runs through the top of the heart there on the 100K. And then over here, it kind of ends up, um, you know, this is the ball rail. So it kind of ends up in the middle of kind of the white, I'll call this the white line here, the white circle. So that should line up kind of in that area. And you see when it crosses over this insert, it's level 
with the top of that insert. So that arc is like completely different. I think the way it's going right now, it's like, I don't know, it's not right. So we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can get that more smooth and lined up about where it's supposed to be. And the key would be to get it to line up with this, the bottom of this white arc here. So you see the difference. What it should do is go from here across the top of this and then bam, that's actually the line right there. So that should go like, more like this. And it should run along the top of this line, kind of level. But the whole thing has to be an arc. It can't just be flat. So I'm gonna freehand it. What do you think about that? Okay, folks, so what we're using is acrylic paint pens. Acrylic paint pens. They're very inexpensive. These are the kind I use because somebody actually sent me this exact brand. Now, you can get these. Here's what's important. They're water-based. They won't run when you, when you spray clear over them. Okay? That's what's important. They also, since they're water-based, you can clean them right off if you make a mistake. You can write your name on it and wipe it right off. Don't do that, but you can. Okay, so you want acrylic. Now, if you want some of those, you can get those exact kind on my website. Go to lionsarcade.com, and there is a parts page. And on the parts page, we have a link to a bunch of the stuff that we use in our videos. So go check that out. And uh, if you click those, it takes you to Amazon. If you buy anything on Amazon, after you click one of those, it knows that we sent you there because there's a little cookie in the, or a little uh, a thing in the URL up at the top where they can tell that you came from us. So it gives us a tip of anything you buy on Amazon. So thank you for the people that are doing that. Some people have even bookmarked one of our little links because and made that their Amazon page and then if you go to that each time we get money every time. Can you believe people would be that nice to do something like that for me? Wow! So we appreciate everybody's doing that. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. So I redrew some of the lines. Now again, this looks like shit right now. Hate to use that kind of language, but it's just the truth, right? It's got problems where it, you know it's not all together, but it's coming together. So you can see where I have redone the line. Now this is all kind of modeled looking right now, but basically if you look, there is a heart shape that is the lens, and that is there, right? And then there is a blue heart above it that is the sidewall of the heart. And so I drew that back in. And then there is a white heart that goes all the way around it that is the top of the heart, and I drew that all back in. When we paint it, we'll get it looking much better and it'll not be so sloppy. Right now we're just putting the lines in to kind of delineate where one color starts and one color stops. Obviously we have major problems here and there, right? But that line wasn't right. So I moved it. Wham! Wham! Wake me up before you go-go. And then I added the two lines back in to extend them down where they're supposed to be. Again, it looks all screwed up, but the lines are in the right spot now. So we can paint it all back in. Okay? So that's kind of what you're trying to do. You're just trying to make it like a coloring book. I went through and I inked in all of the black that was missing. Now you might be you might be tempted in places to add some of these little stars back that are on the black. So if you have a big area that's black, you might want to add a couple stars back on it so it's not as noticeable. But it looks pretty good the way it is, the black at least. I also straightened up the the uh, space shuttle a little bit the top of it there. We're going to repaint all that and everything, but I, I basically drew the black in. It was a little crooked looking. The, the shuttle thing looked a little crooked, so I kind of shaped it a little better. And I'm literally just freehanding this stuff. Now these ones are still a little touchy. We're going to mess with those a little bit too. I'm just freehanding it and, you know, uh, what's the best way to put this? It takes a little bit of artistic skill, but not much because I'm doing it. I don't have really any artistic skill, but you know, you can kind of, it's just minor stuff. If you're not used to drawing or sketching things or whatever, you might not be any good at it. But just take it easy and realize it's just, you want to just do minor things. So literally, that little arc, I just drew it in by hand. And another, I'm left-handed, so if I'm drawing an arc, like if I'm trying to draw this, you would use your left hand from this side and it's just kind of the natural motion of your of your wrist. If I was to try to draw that from this side, I'd have to push it and that's how you get jagged lines that don't look right. 
right? But from this side, I could draw that side pretty good because of the natural arc of your wrist, okay? So it's just little stuff like that. Just practice on some paper or something. And again, there are people that are so much better doing this than me. To some of you, you're probably laughing your ass off about how bad this looks, but I think it looks pretty good compared to where we were. And again, we haven't put any color on it. We're just straightening up lines, people. That's all we're doing yet. We're straightening up lines. So uh, we're getting there. So uh, this is what we're going to basically paint on top of. Now, do you think we're going to be able to pull it off? Do you think that this is actually going to get painted back and look good? What do you think, Matt? Are we going to be able to pull it off? Let's take a look. Am I going to be able to make this where people that walk up to it cannot tell that it's been repainted? Oh, yeah. Easy. This is not even close to the worst I've seen you do. Okay. Well, there we go. I, I got at least one person that thinks I can pull it off. Now, you know, there's a bunch of accoutrements that go up here. Ramps and crap that cover stuff. Yeah, right, yeah, right over here. Yeah, there's stuff that goes all over there. So it's going to cover a lot of that. But I got to paint it in first. I've, I've seen you save a whole lot worse. All right. So, uh, so you at least agree that I can pull it off. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there you go, people. So, we're going to leave it here, and then we're going to do a whole other video of putting the color on. We're trying to do it a little more detailed so people can see how we do it. Um, don't, don't expect miracles, people, but we can make it look a lot better than that. So, uh, the shooter lane we got finished. I think it looks a heck of a lot better. This, we got all of our lines inked in, so now at least we know where we're supposed to be. We did the black, straightened up the shuttle a little bit. Baby steps, people. Next time... We'll mix some color and throw that on there and see if we can get that looking a lot better. But uh, leave your comments below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. Check out our website, lionsarcade.com. And last but not least, don't forget my brother Donnie. So if you don't know about my brother Donnie, he's literally my brother. And if you like watching us work on these old pinball machines and arcade games, you might like watching us work on old buildings. We've bought a couple buildings in a small town near here in the downtown area that are a little dilapidated and we're fixing them up to help revitalize downtown and it's going swimmingly well so go check it out he's crazier than I am my brother Donnie the links down below so I'll see you on the next video and we'll throw some paint on here by the way leave a comment down below let us know if you think it's going to look all right or if you think it just looks like crap and it ain't never going to be any better because <laughs> I want to have uh, my uh, I want to be able to laugh at everybody after I'm done I want to say, uh-huh, you suckers, you suckers, you thought it wouldn't work, but look at it. Look at me now, suckers. So leave your comments below, let us know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one.